Hey guys, Mr. Rufosti bringing you a CUDA gameplay on the map Combine. Very, very nice nuclear. I was going very, very badly in the first round. I was like 12 and 11. So this is the start of the second round where once again, I don't know how I do it. I, like Honestly, I don't know how I drop doubles consistently. I always seem to get nuclears in the second round of domination. It's just that first round. I, don't, I mustn't push hard enough because this second round, I said to the boys, I said, fuck this, man. I'm not going like 12 and 11 and not dropping at least a half decent gameplay. So I said, you know what? Mark my words, I'm dropping a nuke. And I actually managed to somehow, which was surprising to me. Um, yeah, I um, grinded out double weapon XP. You know, I think there's one more day left after this upload comes out. Um, I think there's one more day for us in Australia. Uh, you know, pretty keen on that. I've done all my subbies now. Like, they're all completely done. Um, I still need to get diamond on them, though. I haven't been doing the camo challenges. I've just been smashing out the, you know, leveling up the guns, swapping guns. You know, doing my specialists as well, because I want to get the hero gear. You know, I've only got to do the hive and rejacked and heat wave on the, uh, on the fire break person. And then I should um, be able to go for those hero challenges, which will be pretty cool. So keep your eyes out for that. I'll make sure once I get a few of the gear sets, I'll have to show it off. As well as once I hit um, Master Prestige, I'm very, very close to that now too. Um, you know, I'm Prestige 8, level 40, I think. So can't wait to hit that. There was a little hole in the wall there I was <laughs> when I was jumping up and down. I was pretty surprised if you didn't know that. Um, it can save you, so just remember that little spot. There's a lot of little spots on Combine I never really knew about. Um, but because of the you know the amount of times this map pops up, you're always willing to learn new things. Now, with new things, that is something I want to talk about. Now, I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4. Uh, probably won't upload any of it, um, but it's just one of those games I've been playing. And honestly, has anyone else played it? Because seriously, it is really good fun. Like, I don't know what it is about the game, man. Like, it can be difficult. I'm just playing it on normal. Like, I'm not really lashing out. I haven't really played that many Fallout games. But this one is... Oh, this one is amazing, you know. It's got a good, really good storyline to it. I don't wreck it if you haven't played it, but it's one of the stories you can actually follow along to and you still have a say in the storyline, I guess. And you can just play it how you want. So that's what I've been doing. But obviously, got to get back in the COD grind. I seem to just swap to Fallout when the COD servers have been laggy. Um, I don't know if you've had that issue, but uh, very, you know, the past two, three days, it has been quite, uh, quite weird, especially in parties. I found if you're playing in a party... Uh, the connection seems to drop really badly. Like, you'll find a lot of one-bar, two-bar lobbies, which is very, very strange. Whereas if you play solo, you seem to always find four-bars. But for me, you know, I like playing in two, three-mans max a lot of the time. And, um, you know, I'd rather play with my mates than play by myself sometimes on Call of Duty. So, you know, it's been a little annoying. But, yeah, I might actually, um, once I hit Prestige Master, I might even make a new account, just go for stats. You know, I'm, I'm only at like a 3.5 KD now. I, I really want to push for something better than that. You know, obviously to a lot of um, people, you know, 3.5 is great. Uh, but for me, you know, I know what I'm capable of and I really want to push for that 4.5 5 KD. So I'm definitely going to give that a go uh, once I hit Master. So that'll be, you know, a little challenge for me, something to do that I want, like I personally want to do. But keep your eyes out for that. I'm definitely going to make a video. As soon as I hit that, you're going to see my class setups. You're going to see everything, you know, my full set of it, like just everything. Um, basically, um, the only thing is that I play Domination. I don't play any other game modes. So a lot of the classes you see will be just for Domination. Um, so just bear that in mind. I've also found that Six Sense, I, I sort of stray away from now. And I, I do start to use Ghost a lot more now. Um, just because of the fact that, you know, now that people are starting to level up and get used to the game, the UAV spam is quite, it's quite consistent now. Unless you have, you know, the, the lucky teammates who are shooting down the UAVs with their black cells for some camos, you know, um, which a lot of the time that doesn't happen on my team. It's always on the enemy team. Um, you know, you've got to run ghosts. So that's just one of the tips I can give you. I, I made a class uh, a while ago telling you some stuff to run. I'd probably take off six cents now and just put on Ghost just because the game's changed. But yeah, that was the kill to get the nuclear. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Just me rambling on with the Cuda KN44 nuclear coming up next. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Please subscribe, share, comment, and welcome, and I'll catch you later. Have a great day.